Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to use the AI agent to create classes, records, and cloud code for us. In the last video, I told you that you could use the AI agent to do the code review for you, but you could also use ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot to do the same. And many of you asked, so if I can use ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, why should I use the AI agent instead? Which is a valid question. And the basic reason to use the AI agent is that it is trained on our user base uh, for, from the support. So we have very good solutions fine-tuned into its solutions, which gives a better overall response to any case that you can prompt to it. It can also operate your classes, apps, and cloud code for you, which makes a very, very powerful tool to deliver code for you as long as you can prompt exactly what you want, what ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot cannot do. So to illustrate that, here I have a application I just created. It's called My Dogs and it's a totally empty application. And here I have my new AI agent that I'm going to create by clicking this button. And in here, I, I will prompt exactly what I want to achieve step by step so we can see it operating on the, uh, the application I just created. So let's start by telling it to. In my account, I have an application named my docs. In that application, please create a class named dog. A dog should have a name as a string, a breed as a string, an age as a number, and a has owner as a boolean. So when I send this prompt in, it will use its AI to find that application inside my account and do all the operations I just told it to. So there you go. It said it worked. So let's go and find out back here. I'm going to refresh the screen. And there you go, here I have my dog class and I have a name as a string, breed as a string, age as a number and has owner as a boolean. So this by itself is something that ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot cannot do, but watch further. Please fill up this class with 20 sample dogs. Complete all the properties for each doc. Now, once again, I'm going to send it in. And there you go, it said it's working, so let's go back and find it out. I'm going to refresh the screen once again. And there you go, I have 20 dogs with name, breed, age, and has owner. Now, this again, is something that ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot cannot do. So the AI agent created the class for me, implementing exactly as I prompt and filled up with uh, sample records. Now let's use it to create some cloud code for me. So back to the AI agent I'm going to prompt. In this app, please create a cloud code function named oldest dots. This function should retrieve the oldest three dogs in the class. Let's send it in. And remember, this has been fine-tuned by using our uh, use, uh, support database. So it knows all the problems that our users have faced and its solutions. So it usually provides very good solutions on the first try. That said, you should never use the AI agent directly on your production app because sometimes it might not work as you expect and could break your uh, production code. So ideally, you run it on a test application and once you get it working in there, 
uh, you get that code and publish it to production. It's a much more safe way to work. So there you go, it deployed the function for me. And uh, let's go back and see how it's implemented. So I'm going to go to my cloud code section, open my main.js file, and there you go, my oldest dogs function. It created a new parse query on the dog class that will be descending by age and limit the records for by three. So this is going to have the oldest dogs on the uh, top of my query and then limit it to three. Then it's going to uh, try to find those results and once it gets, it's going to return it. So let's test this out. I'm going to copy the function code, go to the API section, go to my console, change the request post and type functions slash and paste it in. Now, if I send query, there you go, my three oldest dogs are printed out, so it worked. But depending on how complex your cloud code is, you can also call it from the uh, uh, AI agent as well. So please make a call for that function and print out the results here as a table. And there you go, the dogs are printed out here. So I could create a class, fill up with records, create cloud code, and then call the cloud code from the AI agent. This accelerates development by quite a lot, and it's something that ChatGPT and uh, GitHub Copilot cannot do. That said, once again, it's trained on our user basis, so it usually provides very good solutions on the very first try, which is something that you can achieve with ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. But in here, most of the times it, work, it works on the very first try, where with using other tools, you might need two or three or more tries to get what you want. And last but not least, it is smart enough to understand when a command was not completely run or a problem happened and to try it again. So if it breaks for some reason or it implements something and has some error while implementing it, it will try out by itself to uh, redo the operation and make it work, which is something that would uh, ask ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot to redo uh, if it doesn't work at first try. So these are the reasons that I prefer to implement my code in my uh, classes and actually call my code to test it out using the AI agent. I think it's a much smarter and better and faster way to produce my applications. So if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on new content like this. Also share this video with a friend and they can learn something too. I hope you like this content. I hope to see you back on the channel soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.